Hello, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Yourself? How are you well? Very good. All right, let's go. Welcome to the road to the playoffs, Marlon. Congratulations on your win in Paris. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's start with your favorite movie. I think my favorite movie is Senna. The, the Formula One driver has a fantastic movie about his life. Do you remember when he died, Senna? Of course. Those moments you, you remember where you are and where you're doing, and we always stop to watch his races on Sunday morning. I was sitting in the living room with my parents, and of course we didn't know that he died then. We just knew there was a bad crash. I was only six at the time. It was in 94. Describe yourself in three words. <laughs> I think I'm quite shy, hard worker, very committed in whatever I decide to do. Would you call yourself talented? Yeah, I think I, I, I am talented. I cannot deny that at all. But it was something that my dad always put it in our head since uh, childhood that results only comes uh, before work on a dictionary. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Reads Angelica's mind. Hundred <laughs> percent. That will make my life so much oh. easier. <laughs> I hope from all the questions and all the answers in this interview that we'll use, I hope we'll use that one. Is it difficult? Is it so difficult? What do you think? I <laughs> don't put it on my shoulders. What is one important skill you think every person should have? Yeah, be a hard worker. I think that's very important. The people that start working with you stay very long. Yeah, so there's something there's something very positive about what you guys are doing all together there. A hundred percent. I'm yeah. I believe so too. And then at home also, we try to have a very very much of a family feeling. Like uh, we have breakfast together and we have lunch together. My mom is cooking to everybody, so all the grooms and all the stuff. We stop for lunch and try to have a little bit this environment. Marlon. Who is your hero and why? Definitely my dad, um, no question about it. Um, somebody who teach me everything I know as a person, of course, he and my mom and, and the principles we have. And he taught me how to ride. He's the one who put me on the horse for the first time. Big dreamer, big believer. Um, he wanted to represent Brazil, that was his dream. And he was an inventor and uh, he sold like you said he sold his house built the truck himself with yeah and put the whole family in the truck uh, my younger brother was three months old um wow. four kids uh, the groom a lot of Ill illegal things because <laughs> we cannot fit all that in a truck so <laughs> we we were kind of hiding on the on the cabin from the truck and but i think the year for me uh, showed without any effort to me as a person myself but showed uh, if you want to do something everything is possible what three things would you take to a desert island uh, can I take my wife <laughs> yes <laughs> well, are you sure <laughs> are you sure <laughs> Marlon do you have any hidden talents I was in between getting, trying to be a professional soccer player and uh, uh, riding. That was a little bit at one point when I was 14, 15. I had one time an offer to go and, and do a test in one of the big clubs in Brazil, in Sao Paulo Football Club. Yeah. Oh. My dad popped up the question when I said I want to be a professional. He said, okay, who you want to be? Who is the professional you want to be if you see it today in Brazil? And I said to him, no, I don't want, I want to be in Europe. I want to be close to the best in the world. We have arrived at your destination. Thank you for joining us on the road to the playoffs. Here we are, my lord. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for driving with me. Have a nice day. See you next time. Have a See good you. day. Thank you.